Thank you for joining us for South Florida Live. I'm your host, Kristen Sanchez, and we're starting off with a truly impactful story. There are many out on the streets with no address. They beautiful. When the hope dies. <laughs> to be found. The film No Address makes its world premiere at Fort Lauderdale International Film Festival. Inspired by true events, this film brings to light the challenges and resilience of individuals experiencing homelessness with proceeds from tonight's screening benefiting the Salvation Army of Broward County. So joining us for more on the film and also its very important mission are two of the stars. We have Xander Berkeley here and we have Ty Pennington. Thank you for being here in South Florida Live. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. Really important highlights here because it tells a story of homelessness from start to beginning. Why did you feel like you wanted to take on this role? Well, anybody who's been around homelessness as much as one is when they're going between New York and Los Angeles as I was throughout my adult life can't help but to be affected by the crisis and the way it's gotten worse over the years recently. And uh, to be able to do a film about a story about real people in these circumstances and with the, the, the producer having set it up so that the proceeds of the film can go to support the different organizations that provide the necessary wraparound care, mental care, mental health care, health care and drug and alcohol rehabilitation and, job training and placement. There's so many people doing such great work that we don't know about. So it was an incredible opportunity to learn more about those who are doing this good work, walking the walk. And uh, I also got to play a painter. I'm a painter in real life uh, of that. And uh, someone who is sort of the patriarch of the little community and helping the family get out this little, the family that forms in the community there in the encampment. So that's what the, the movie really is about, is it? It's a story about a lot of people that are homeless, but they sort of form a family to sort of survive. Um, I play uh, a small character, a guy named uh, Mr. Mills, who owns a, a, um, a hardware store and gives Jimmy, sort of the main star, uh, a job, which, uh, you know, and even Mr. Mills has been sort of down and out, so he understands what, how big second chances he really is. And so this one choice of giving this guy a job really sort of changes his trajectory and uh, I think that one belief in somebody and seeing them as a human being and not just a stat is what really changes everything and I think that's the importance of the movie is that you realize that these are real people that could be anybody you know and certainly could be somebody from your, your own family and uh, it's just a real uh, story of emotion and, and uh, it's something that really is happening in the world. Yeah and you know you've been a part of a lot of impactful projects from building homes to now taking on a project like this where you're playing a role in reminding people that having no address is something really scary. Why do you think that this is something that you are so passionate about now and really always has been? Well, I mean, personally, uh, just as Andrew said, um, you know, I think we, we all experience it. The question is, is like, this movie, you get to know characters, you get to see what people are really going through. And I think a lot of times we just look outside our window and like, you know, uh, wonder why this person doesn't have a job or whatever. There's so many more factors going into that. And, uh, and I think it's also about uh, self-reliance and learning how to, to, to find a way out of something really difficult. And the only way to do that is to, to work together as a community or a family, if you will. And uh, that's what the story is all about. And it shines literally hope. And I think uh, that's what's great about the movie. It gives us all hope that it can change. Yeah. Xander, you said something really beautiful to me earlier. It's about helping and reminding people that you have the power to help. And there's nothing that's better than putting a smile and lending a helping hand. There were a couple, because there was also a documentary that covered 17 different states and 23 different homeless encampments and the organizations that were providing the care that I was talking about. And so we got the benefit of the experiencing and seeing and, and uh, meeting the people involved in those in that documentary and there were a couple of lines that just stood out forever like don't look down but offer a hand to help somebody up yeah. and one of the people that had gone from being homeless to becoming one of the people that was running an organization had been told when he was first brought into care woken up early in the morning said help somebody help somebody 
help somebody. Right. I'm going to help Xander out right now. But here's what's key to know that it's going to be in theaters nationwide February 28th. So go out and see this film. Yes, absolutely. Thank you guys for being here on South Florida Live screen tonight at 6.30 right here in Fort Lauderdale. We're going to be right back after this.